Meanwhile, five fishermen were arrested and prosecuted for infractions during the closed season. The Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, Mavis Hawakumsen, at the media briefing also said the ministry would ensure all laws regarding fishing are enforced. Artisanal and inshore fleets observed a month-long closed season from July 1 to July 31 and industrial fleets from July 1 to August 31 to replenish fish stock. The introduction of the closed season followed the slapping of a yellow card on Ghana for unsustainable fishing practices, according to the sector minister, though there was high compliance by fisher folks during the season. A few infractions were recorded in some fishing communities. It is key to note that through the activities of the Fisheries Enforcement Unit of the Fisheries Commission, the Ghana Navy and the Marine Police, non-compliant fishermen were arrested in Sekendi, Beni and Eziama, all in the western region. The arrested fishermen are being prosecuted to serve as deterrent to other fishermen. So far, we have arrested five people and they have been prosecuted and found. And also, we have seized about 30 generators. She said a new roadmap was drawn to open the sea for fisher folks at Elmina following an apology by a delegation sent to the ministry. At Elmina, the fishers insisted on continuing with illegal fishing activities, particularly light fishing, and transshipments at sea, popularly known as Saiku. They therefore refused to accept the relief items. The closed season was subsequently extended for Elmina until the ministry received the assurance that they will not engage in illegal fishing activities. A delegation was sent to the ministry on 3rd August 2021 to apologize and to draw a new roadmap to open the fishing season for fishermen at Alamina. She said the ministry would ensure all laws regarding fishing are enforced.